Hi, I'm Ryan McClure, Executive Director of Gateway Arch Park Foundation. Welcome to Blues at the Arch, presented by Emerson. You can catch all the great Blues at the Arch performances on the Gateway Arch website at archpark.org. As the official philanthropic partner of Gateway Arch National Park, our foundation's mission is to ensure that the arch is vital and welcoming for future generations. We also want to make sure that we're preserving two of St. Louis's most iconic symbols, the Gateway Arch and the Old Courthouse. We also create events and programming to provide great experiences for our community here at our hometown National Park. We would like to thank our presenting sponsor, Emerson, and our partners, the National Blues Museum and the National Park Service, for helping us bring the six year of Blues of the Arch to you. And most importantly, we wanna thank you because without community support, we cannot do what we do here at the park. Blues at the Arch is one of our favorite events of the year. And we're sorry that we can't see all of you here in person at Gateway Arch National Park. But we hope to bring this great lineup of local and national blues artists straight to your home and provide some joy and comfort while we look forward to seeing you again in person. The National Blues Museum in downtown St. Louis is dedicated exclusively to preserving and honoring the national and international story of the blues and its impact on American culture in the United States. At the National Blues Museum, we celebrate the genre as a foundation of all modern American music. And so, it is my pleasure to welcome you to Blues at the Arch. Blues at the Arch is brought to you by Emerson and support from viewers like you. Lady J. Houston got her first taste of fame as the vocalist with Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Johnny Johnson, AKA Father Rock and Roll Piano, who was Chuck Berry's original pianist in which the song Johnny Be Good was written in honor of. At the age of 18, Lady J. toured the United States with the legendary blues and rock and roll Hall of Famer Albert Blues Boy King. She has performed amongst music legends such as Muddy Waters, John Lee Hooker, B.B. King, Etta James, Millie Jackson, Bo Diddley, Coco Taylor, and Bobby Blue Bland. Lady J has hosted and been featured on podcast shows, TV, newspapers, and continues to ride and mesmerize audiences around the world. Please welcome the Lady J Houston Show.
arch was designed by architect Aero Saarinen and was completed on October 28, 1965. The arch is the tallest man-made monument in the United States, standing 630 feet tall and 630 feet wide. Every year, we welcome visitors from around the world to the Gateway Arch to explore over 200 years of history, including the impact of how westward expansion and how the events that took place in the 91 acres of Gateway Arch National Park shaped history. Blues music plays an important role in the history of St. Louis and this park. Located near the riverfront in the 1930s, the old rock house served as a nightclub featuring countless blues musicians and singers, including Ann Richardson or Rock House Annie as she was known. The National Park Service is proud to host Blues at the Arch at Gateway Arch National Park and celebrate with our partners, Gateway Arch Park Foundation and the National Blues Museum, the storied history and tradition of blues music in St. Louis. You can learn more about the St. Louis Riverfront and see a replica of the old rock house on your next visit to the museum at the Gateway Arch. It stands for our city. It stands for all of us. Support the Gateway Arch Park Foundation and help us sustain this national treasure for today, for tomorrow, for good. Gateway Arch is the symbol of St. Louis, man. You know you're in my hometown. When I see the arch, you know, it makes me feel pride. I used to come up from a little small town when I was a young kid from Carruthersville. So when we would come in from the south side of the city, you see the arch, of course you knew you were in the big city. You would go down and you sit on the arch steps, just kind of hang out, make friends, make friends from people all around St. Louis. Even now when I come home and fly home and see the arch, I know I'm in the big town of St. Louis. It's a great place to go and hang out whenever you're in the city. Laclede's Landing right there, so many cool restaurants, just a really historic place to see and learn about St. Louis. And the Arch is just a great place to, you know, to do it all and go up in it if you get a chance. Blues at the Arch is presented by Emerson and from support from viewers like you.
Merci. Hey, take it back to some stacks records, y'all. I'm Camille Brooks. Our team works year-round to bring exciting events and programming to the vibrant and beautiful Gateway Arch, its grounds and neighboring public spaces. While things may look a little different this year, we are happy to still be able to celebrate our city. We look forward to bigger and better events in the future. If you've enjoyed our virtual Blues at the Arch concert series, please join us for free sunrise yoga every Tuesday morning on our Gateway Arch Park Foundation Facebook page or live in Keener Plaza. Visit our website to learn more about hosting your own special event in the museum at the Gateway Arch. Events like Blues at the Arch are made possible by our generous sponsors and supportive members. Please consider becoming a member today and help keep this incredible urban national park a vital and well-supported resource for generations to come. Learn more at archpark.org. We'll be right back with more music. 
The arch is something that people come here to see. It's one of the biggest things that St. Louis has. I would always tell people, go there first. One of my favorite perks of being a member was going to Winterfest and being able to be around all the families and all the children skating. It was really nice. Walking over from the courthouse, it's really exciting. It's a whole different view. It's a lot more light coming in. It's opened up a lot. It's beautiful, actually. I love it. Blues at the Arch is brought to you by Emerson, with special thanks to the National Blues Museum and the National Park Service. Welcome, everybody, to Blues at the Arch. We're going to run this down one more time. Y'all ready for some blues? All right, let's do it, brothers.
that work us out. We worked it out so much, we're going to give it a little slower down. to give you the eye like this sometimes. Sometimes when you're looking around for a good man. And you might be looking around for a good woman. And I know they out there somewhere. Y'all got somebody good in your life back there?
glad y'all feeling and have some mercy on me, Lord. You know, we call this the Lady J. Houston Show because I love being able to show off all the musicians up here in this band. Right now, we're going to show off on bass, Mr. Frank Dunbar. originals.
you make me sick. All right, now. Come on, Marty, bring me in, baby. All right, here we go. I do a little tribute to the man that I went on the road with, and his name was Albert King.
We hope you've enjoyed Blues at the Arch and learn a little more about the important work that the Foundation does here at Gateway Arch National Park. Thank you for joining us.